We trace these firearms from the very earliest ones that came over with the conquistadors, the original explorers, the very earliest settlers. The NRA National Sporting Arms Museum is a showcase. Nearly 1,000 guns dating back hundreds of years. Here we see a matchlock from the 1600s. Each item historically significant. The most recent thing that came in, and it was just a week ago, was Alexander Hamilton's powder horn. And for me, that was a goosebump artifact. And this museum is so rich in that. We've got Napoleon's double barrel shotgun for crying out loud. The 7,500 square foot museum was nearly a decade in the making. Bass Pro Shops built the space. The best looking firearms museum in the country. The NRA brought the guns. This is a massive Asian wall gun. Lots and lots of guns big guns. Arguably the largest caliber rifle that's made. Famous guns. This was Napoleon's Flintlock Fowler. Infamous guns. Jesse James was uh, well known in Missouri. And presidential guns. Many of the presidents have enjoyed hunting, have enjoyed shooting, and these are two, uh, certainly two very prominent bird shooters. This is Dwight David Eisenhower's Winchester Model 21. This is one of Theodore Roosevelt's double rifles. There is the presidential seal on both chambers. It's very personal to Roosevelt. Uh, that was his nightstand gun while he was in the White House. You think you'd need a nightstand gun when you're in the White House? <laughs> well, Roosevelt was that kind of guy. Turns out this is a gun museum that really isn't about guns. It's about us, our story as Americans. And that's my very favorite thing about these firearms is the history that is behind them.